Hey everyone, good morning, happy Tuesday. Okay, so I'm coming on today to check in since I haven't been on really. Um, Sunday I posted my giveaway winner video. Um, can't remember the last time I really checked in, was it Saturday? I don't remember, the days are blurring. Yes, the days are blurring. So, um, the past two days I was dealing with a stomach bug. Um, I think I pulled a muscle in my back, so my <laughs> moving stuff in the basement, so my back's been bothering me. It's been a rough past couple of days. Yesterday, I think I slept a lot of the day. It was a rainy, gloomy day. I was not feeling good still from my stomach bug. My back was bothering me, and I think I was just completely exhausted from just all the stresses of looking for a house, going through the motions with houses, being disappointed with houses, not being accepted, and now thinking about everything we need to do to get ready to move. I was just mentally exhausted because you guys all know, if you watch my videos, I am very much a worry wart. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, I think I pulled the muscle moving boxes around and doing stuff in the basement. I'll show you what I've been doing in the basement. Um, not the past couple days, but before that, this past, um, weekend, Friday and Saturday. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to eat breakfast. I have some French toast sticks going in my toaster oven. I got to get myself together. Um, cause I got a lot I want to do today. If I can, if I feel up to it, I'm feeling better this morning. So, um, yeah, so I thought I'd take you along on our day. Look at those cuties. You trying to get him to play, Magnum? He just wants to chew that bunny. What's going on back there? What's going on back there? Oh, Miggy was back there with the big duck from Emily. <laughs> you want him to chase you, Miggy? You want him to chase you? Yes, the boys were like, what is wrong with mom the past couple days? Because I was just laying on the couch, laying in bed, not doing anything. And they were bored because it was rainy. Today it is gloomy. It's gloomy out, but it stopped raining finally. It rained all day from 10 o'clock yesterday morning all night. It was just a rainy mess. So, well, there goes my toaster oven just dinged. So, I'm going to eat some breakfast and uh, get myself ready, and I'll be back. I'll show you what I've been doing in the basement. Look at these faces. <laughs> Look at these faces. Look at these faces. And this face. Yes. This is how it is when I eat. Whoa. This is how it is when I eat my uh, breakfast. I have an audience. I didn't have eggs today. I had French toast sticks. So I gave them a teeny little piece. Look at their faces. I have to that's one of the things on my list today is to wash their faces. <laughs> Got some awesome firecracker beard going on this morning. Yes, we do. What are you doing down there, Milo? Yeah, you guys had a little piece of French toast. You don't need any more. No, so did you. Even Kitten ate his little piece of French toast stick. Yes. I didn't eat anything um, very much the past couple of days because of my stomach, prop, my stomach bug. Um, so, yeah, they were missing out on their little uh, breakfast morsels in the morning.
Okay, so all the dogs are taken care of. Let's go downstairs and I'll show you um, what I was working on this past weekend for our move. This to the right, where the curtain is, is my son's room. We will close that because that's probably a mess. <laughs> Hold on guys, it's gonna get dark. Um, so, it's dark again, sorry guys, we are in a basement. Okay, so, let me stand over here. This is what I've been working on, right here. I went through all of this stuff on this side and went through everything, make sure I wanted it, uh, make sure it's stuff I want to take with me, and that is all done. And I put some labels on them. Um, it says storage and attic, so the movers know. Um, I'm gonna have everything, um, at the other house I'm gonna put big pieces of paper that say um, storage, bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three, um, so they know exactly where the boxes go. So. This is all done except for this kind of stuff here. I can't box up, um, so I'll probably just have to move that myself. But everything else is ready to go. It's just too deep, so let's see if I can give it better. It's mostly Christmas stuff. <laughs> I'm bad for Christmas stuff. And then over here, I have like um, dog fencing, the pet stroller I got when Max had his spinal stroke. Those two boxes my husband needs to go through, those are things from his office. This is stuff for the living room. Um, when it comes to the day we're moving, I'm gonna put everything in the living room that goes, um, that needs to be packed up together so things can hopefully kind of stay together. So it's easier for the movers to put in the house. So, and then this toaster oven I've gotta pack up. And this is just where the kitty box is. So, everything in here is pretty much done except for the toaster oven and then the couple boxes my husband has to go through. And does he really want this old bowling ball anymore? <laughs> he needs to decide. And like this bag here, this is stuff when we travel, like travel size stuff. This is gonna have to get packed too because they will not take bags and stuff like that. It has to be packed in a box or in a tote. Um, so this is my next project. This stuff right here is all donations. Um, that's going to go to the donations to um, Salvation Army. And this is all stuff that needs to get packed. That stuff is packed under there, pretty much. But I need to pack up all the. I'm not going to pack up some of the tools, but I need to pack up all this stuff. And then behind this door here is just a bunch of random junk that I need to decide. Well, our safe, yes, we need. Our tax info, we need. But other stuff I need to decide, do we really need it? Do we want to take it with us? So here's those things I bought, the stickers. I bought these on Amazon. So fragile stickers, um, kitchen, um, bedroom. They say bedroom one and two, bedroom three. So everything is going to get labeled. And you want to label, label it on multiple sides of the box. So yeah, that's what I have to work on the rest of the day if I feel like it. Because my back is really killing me um, from moving all those boxes on the other side. So, But I'm trying to get everything gone through and packed up as much as possible to make this move easy. And labeling boxes. I have never done that before. Um, I saw those on Amazon and I thought... This may make things easier. Easier on me too. So if I see a box, I know exactly where it's supposed to go. <laughs> so, yep, that's what I'm going to do the rest of the day. First, I want to go back upstairs though, because I want to um, say a couple thank yous to a couple people. So this is what I've been busy doing, guys. This is why my videos are going to be scattered. Um, may not have one for a while, may have one. May not have one for a while, may have one, because I'm just busy going through things. All right, let me get upstairs and say my thank yous. All right, I wanna say a couple thank yous before I decide if I wanna go downstairs and tackle some more of the basement. First, I wanna say thank you to Tammy and Shannon for the card and for sending this cute stuffed Easter schnauzer. Isn't it cute? This will go on my stuffed schnauzer collection. Thank you so much. They also sent in the card a picture of their schnauzer 
and her name is Daisy May, and she's nine months old from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And on the back of the picture it says, Roll Tide. <laughs> she's so cute. I'm sorry for the glares. I have the lights on because it's gloomy out. And I wanted to say a thank you to Cheryl. She sent me a card. Thank you. And she also sent um, money to purchase one of our uh, photos of the three boys, Max, Marley, and Mozzie, um, sticking their faces through the fence there. Um, I sold this a while back, so she sent money to purchase one of them. So if anybody wants to purchase one of these, just comment below and I'll let you know how to do that. So these are really, this is a really cute photo. It's one of my favorite, favorite of all time photos and it's so cute framed. So I actually gave one to our vet's office and they have it hanging in their office. So thank you Cheryl for ordering one of those photos and I wanted to say thank you to Ray for pledging on our Patreon page and thank you to Helen. Um, she sent a donation to our, for our emergency fund through PayPal. And if you want to check out our Patreon page, it's linked down below. Any pledges on our Patreon page all go towards our boys emergency fund. So, okay, I'm going to go sit down for a minute um, and then I'm going to try to decide if I'm going to go downstairs and tackle some more of the basement. I don't know. I may not. Oh, don't forget tomorrow I'm announcing the winners of our walkie paws giveaway. If you haven't seen that giveaway video, I'll link it down below. Um, I'll also link the video where I, re I reviewed the walkie paws um, boots. I'll link that also below. Um, yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow to announce those winners. Okay, guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.